Now I don't know whether you came on this video by chance or whether you are a subscriber and you clicked on this video because you know me. In this video, I'm going to tell you two specific things, two problems that I was going through in the last few years and how I have been able to fix those problems. And I'm sure that a lot of you will be able to resonate with this and this will help you get rid of those problems. But my suggestion is watch this video only if you have five minutes of time. If you don't have five minutes of time, skip this video. The reason why I'm saying this is we are so busy doing transactions that we don't even have enough time to set five minutes for ourselves and think for ourselves. That is the first problem I was facing. I was so busy at my work. I was so busy in doing transactions at my home that I did not even take five minutes aside and sit and think about myself. And I think that is how most of us live. That is how most of us operate. We are so busy doing transactions that we don't set five minutes or 10 minutes aside every single day for us to think. And not thinking with purpose is the reason why we struggle and continue to struggle. So here is what I suggest. Block some five to 10 minutes on your calendar. Doesn't matter who you are and how busy you are. You need to set five minutes aside or 10 minutes aside for yourself every single day just to think. That is the time you will not entertain anybody from your office. That is the time you will not take any calls. That is the time you will not talk to any family member. Just sit with yourself, have a notepad and a pen with you and just think about what you are doing. What has been your recent past? What kind of problems you've been facing and write them down. Then think about your current situation. Then think about what you want to do in future. Write down everything. I'm telling you, if you do this consistently, not for one day, not for one week, if you make this as a habit, you will have everything documented in front of you. And I'm not telling you do this for 30 minutes. If you do it for 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, that's fine. But get into the habit of thinking on paper. That is going to bring a lot of things into perspective. That is going to give you a lot of direction. No coach or no mentor can do this for you. You can only do this for yourself. By doing this simple thing, you will be able to get outside of that loop of transactions. So that is first action item. The second is a lot of us are on the other extreme where we are so busy overthinking. We are so busy thinking what will go wrong. We are so busy thinking what if this will happen. We are so busy thinking what has gone wrong in the past. We are so busy thinking what will go wrong in the future. And because of all of this overthinking, we are not able to make decisions. We are not able to let go a few of the things. And we are not able to enjoy the present moment. Last but not the least, we end up self-criticizing ourselves. So just overthinking about all these things randomly is not going to get you anywhere. What you need to do is again take a paper and a pen and write down everything. Once you let it go on a paper and a pen, you will be amazed how light you will feel. You will be amazed that you will yourself find direction and you will find specific actions for yourself that you want to take. A lot of people ask me how I am able to create so many videos. How do I come up with so many ideas? How am I able to do it along with my work for last two and a half years or three years? How did I grow my following on LinkedIn? How did I grow my following on YouTube? So it did not occur by chance. Nothing over here occurs by chance. Maybe you can get one time lucky by chance, but otherwise everything is thought through. For everything that you want to achieve, you need to plan, you need to put efforts. So I did not get followers on LinkedIn just because I started to write random posts one day. You won't believe but I've done three courses to learn LinkedIn. I've done two courses to learn how YouTube works. So there is effort, there is money, there is intent and there is purpose. There is consistent effort over the years which has led to this particular social media growth. And you can very well apply this in anything that you do in life, not just social media. I'm just taking that example because that is relevant. So I hope you get the point. Long story short, stop underthinking, which is doing one transaction after another and stop overthinking, which is actionless. Get into the mindset of thinking it right and thinking it on paper. That will do you a lot good than anything else. Let me know your thoughts in comments. Share this in your WhatsApp network if you think anybody else can benefit from this. Take care and I'll see you in another video soon. Bye for now.